Hello, this is Glenda with Fraylands and Friends Crafts Plus. And today I've got a few things going on. And I'll be back in a little bit to let you know what they are. Okay, these are the puppets bones, as I called them before. And I said I needed to put them in something. So these are, they're still not baked. These are just some discs I cut out with a biscuit cutter. And, excuse me. I put some adhesive in there. It's bakeable adhesive for clay. And I'm going to bake them today. And that's probably all I will do with them today because I'm when I do build them, I'm going to do it with the time lapse because it takes quite a long time. And I want you to see the process. So for right now, I just wanted you to see their stage and that they are going to each have their own stand. It'll be easier to work with them. So that's the way they are. This is one idea I had for the rainbow effect on the dish. But the effect of this, I kind of like. And I know, uh, Glenda Wilson, you suggested possibly a pastel. Now, um, I'm going to have to try a couple things, but I'm going to try them on something else. Uh, like, okay, I have this old thing here. I only got it glazed on one side. So I might try the other side. I only use this just to lay things on. <laughs> So that's one idea. The pastel that you mentioned, uh, something like, there, something like this part right here um, might. I just don't know if I can get it that light. We'll have to see. I do have watercolor paints. I could try that. I just don't know how well they'll stand up to the gloss or to the whatever glaze he puts on there. Oh, there it is. That's just, that's just a, I wouldn't do the dog, but that's just a, another effect you can use. It's just rainbow colors. I think the idea is it's just, a, it's a rainbow of colors. It's not particularly just rainbow colors. It's a rainbow of colors, which I have no opposition to that either. So, huh, let's try this today. I'm only going to paint it white. That's all I'm going to do to it because that's going to be the base coat. It's white. And I need a new foil. Here we go. I'm wondering if I can just buy some regular, you see this is getting a little low, I'm wondering if I could just buy a, a pint or quart of regular white acrylic paint that you would put on a wall, I just don't know. It would sure save. <laughs> At least it would save in ordering. I don't know how much money it would save. But it would save ordering. Oh! Stringing along here. This is going to take quite a bit. If it's going to stick to the foil like that. It, it's, it can't really be sticking that much. It's just... It's thick. Which is good. You need it thick. Here's the only thing with getting with doing these clamshells is making sure you get into all the crevices. So I like the sponge brushes for the area they cover and they can sop up more paint. But the other thing is they have to sop up more paint. <laughs> You would think there would be no noticeable streaks or whatever, but 
I guess there aren't if you could go that heavy, but my goodness, I don't want it running either. I don't want it running down in there. No drips. <laughs> You know, when you're working with a white clay, I guess we could call it more of an off-white. <laughs> it can be a little difficult to see where you've been. Okay. Oopsie. I think that's covered as far as that part's concerned. I can only do one side at a time. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Fingers, messy fingers, messy fingers. That's my middle name, messy fingers. But I do want to get those edges all around there. Okay. And I gotta remember I will be putting on another coat of whatever colors we do. The one thing I'm thinking about with that one I was showing you, the darker one, is I could make it like the start with the darker colors in the middle and then work out. And it might end up looking a little bit like that nebula I used to use as a part of my intro. We got something to unbox. I just went and got it, so using a little sanitizer. I'll probably do that before and after, depending on how well do with the wipes but uh, dirty box it's traveled so that's not all just germs <laughs> it's dirty box and I didn't bring a knife be back I now have a trusty knife okay I know what it is. You do too, probably, because I told you this time. Huh. Holy cow. And it's, it's a good size one. But oh, but did they ever make a big box for it? It's not nearly as big as the box. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is it's in about half of this box. And they didn't even put that much bubble wrap in. I mean, it's paper. <laughs> oh, well. That's a box to use for something. I don't know what. Right now, it's just a memory on the floor that I'll have to clean up later. <laughs> okay, get you where you can see better. All right, homegrown. Doesn't that look cool? I don't know if those are ribbons or pieces of paper. <sighs> Looks like all kinds of things you can decorate. I don't really want to open it right now. Oh, look at these. My happy place. Life is so sweet. I love you a bunch. You are my honey. I could just squeeze you so tight. You, <laughs> you can't buy happiness. It's shiny, isn't it? But you can buy local and farm fresh, and that's kind of the same thing. <laughs> In a lot of ways, I have to agree. There's a lot of them. They're cute. I'm glad it came out to be kind of a... 
I didn't really notice when I ordered it that it was, maybe I did. I mean, it says homegrown, but it's got like little tractor decals and bicycles, homegrown, pickup truck, a little thing of flowers. This is the scrapbook. It's, I ordered a fairly large one because, well, I have a lot of grandkids. And I also have three of my own plus two son-in-laws and a daughter-in-law. Okay. It has about 100 pages in here, which I will probably use every one of them. And Mr. is home. Hi, Joe. I'm showing off the stuff I got in the, in the, I got delivered today. Anyway, these, these excite me. I think these are cute. I just don't know if those are ribbons or, okay, my curiosity's killing me. You know, you always wish when you get these things there'd be a way of of closing them back up <laughs> so they don't get dirty. Oh, I think that's just a front cover. That's just a front cover. Well, shit. Oh, that's pretty. And so is that. I guess you, you have to make a choice. <laughs> so eventually I may need to order a second one depending on just how much is in here and how much of each one I want to use. I don't know if I want to fill a whole page with that. I might want to. But I got pictures and stuff too. I might want to cut pieces of it out, like hearts and stuff like that. But I think, yeah, there's supposed to be stickers too. Unless this is just another page. No, I think that's stickers. These are stickers. No, that's not stickers. These are stickers. Is that the only stickers? That's the only stickers. That's the only stickers. I was hoping for more. So I may have to get some stickers. But they are the same that were on the front. Oh, I got a piggy and a cow. I'm going to like this one. Anything country and homespun, I love. Isn't that pretty? I thought one of them, maybe it was a different one I looked at, had a pocket that you could put a photograph on the front. You know, like I could have put a picture of Joe and I there, but I probably still could if I wanted to glue it on, but I don't know if I want to glue anything on. The front cover, I don't know. Because you know how things happen. Things get ripped. So, okay, here he is. Hello, sweet Joe. Hello. <laughs> I'm holding the camera on you. You gotta say something. There you oh, go. It's hot outside. Is it? I, be, I believe you. I didn't go out today. Ah, uh, he says it's hot. Well, you heard him. Well, that's it for tonight. We're gonna say good night. We love you. Please take care of yourselves and don't get heat stroke for heaven's sake and hydrate. Please subscribe and click the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. Not green today, but please give me one anyway. We'll see you tomorrow.